Thank you, Ron. So at the request, this is uh, what I'd like to share with you today. So he, who here owns mutual funds? Put up your hands. Great. Who here knows whether their mutual funds are good or not? Put up your hands. Okay, great. So some people know. So when it comes to mutual funds, really there's four factors that you need to look at in terms of deciding whether they're good funds or not. They're number one, look at the comparisons. How do they compare to the peer group and how does it compare to the index? The goal is to beat both of them. Okay, number two, you look at obviously the returns. What are the returns over one, three, five, ten years? Uh, number three, you look at the beta, and beta is the market risk. How does it uh, correspond to the markets? And last but not least, you look at the MERs or management expense ratio. What do you each what do you have to pay every year to hold this fund and how's it performing for you? So I'm gonna use an example right now. This is the IG AGF Canadian Growth Fund. So as, as I said, you need to compare it to, it needs to have a comparison. So this is the returns of the fund over a one, three, one, two, three, four, five, 10, 15 year. This is the group average. This is what every other fund did okay, in the Canadian focus equity. And this is how the index did, the S&P total return. So that's the S&P, TSX index with all the dividends. So if we look at this, the one year rate of return, it actually did, it did horrible compared to the group average. Everyone else did 20, 21%, whereas the index did 12.99. But a one year rate of return, you can't really count on that. So let's look at a three year rate of return. The three year rate of return is only 3.16 compared to the group average of 5.55, compared to the index of 3.4. So again, this one's a laggard. And if we look at 2013, 2012, it did it the same as everyone else. In 2011, everyone went down, but this one's up, this one's down even more. Now, when we look at the beta, so the beta is, the market has a beta of one. The group average has a beta of 0.9. So that means that if, the fund, the markets went up 10%. If you had a beta of one, you would go up 10%. Uh, if the market went down 10%, you would go down 10%. So you try to keep the beta as low as you can so that the markets don't affect it as much. So for this one, you have a lower beta, plus you have bigger swings when it comes down to market downturns and lower returns. So this is a horrible fund. Last but not least, when we look at the MER, the management expense ratio of what you're paying for this. This is 2.62%, which is really high. Again, the MERs aren't, don't tell the whole story. I mean, as long as you're performing, it's not bad to pay the MERs, and all the returns are net of MERs. So I'm gonna show you something different. So this is the Fidelity Canadian Large Cap. As you can see, it's got a long history. If we look at the one year rate of return, it did 36.27. Compared to, again, to the group average, everyone did about 21%. Compared to the index of 12.99. So let's look at a longer rate of return. The three year rate of return is 16.72. Compared to the group average of 5.55. Compared to the index of 3.4. So this one clearly is an outperformer. It just blows everyone out of the water. Now if we look at the calendar year rate of return, so from January to December, the most important one that I want you to focus on is the 2011 rate of return. So everyone else produced a negative rate of return on average negative 9.66, and the index did negative 8.71, whereas this fund manager actually produced a positive rate of return of 10.31. So that's 20% more than everybody else. Again, this fund is phenomenal. Not only that, but when you look at it, if you look at the beta, so how, how it's affected by the market, it's half the risk of the group average and more than 60% less than the market itself. So this fund clearly is an outperformer. And if you look at the MERs, the management expense ratio, it is 2.46, <coughs> so that's still relatively high. The previous fund that I showed you was 2.62. However, again, the MERs don't tell you everything because all these returns are net of fees, so it does include the fees. So even though this MER is relatively high, 
Okay, you are getting the performance. It is providing you with the rates of return. Not only that, but the risk is actually half the risk of everybody else and in addition to the markets. So having said that, I want you to know that when it comes to wealth management, it's not just about the return. Return, to be honest, investments is actually the easy part. Okay, the more complicated part, okay, the part where you get the most value from is actually from having a financial plan. So a roadmap to show you where you're going right now. If you keep doing what you're doing right now, this is what it's gonna look like in the future at age 65. Is this what you want to happen? Once you have the roadmap and you know where you're going, that's when you have the power to make changes. Okay. If you want to retire comfortably and maintain the current lifestyle, uh, you can actually make changes to the plan. You might have to contribute more, higher returns, whatever that may be, but first and foremost, you need to have a plan without a doubt. And with all the, with all the mutual funds, those MERs that I was talking about, Every year, your advisor gets paid a portion of this to not only provide you with financial planning services, but to provide you with annual reviews and really to look after you to make sure that you achieve your financial goals. So whether or not you decide to buy this yourself, I would highly recommend actually going to a financial advisor, someone who's a certified financial planner, who's gonna provide you with the plan. Again, at the end of the day, it's a plan that really matters. It's not the returns that matters so much. And this individual needs to have the certifications as well. So I would like to leave you with this, and I'm going to quote Janice on this. And that is, most people plan to, most people don't plan to fail, they just fail to plan. And now I'm gonna open the floor up to any questions. Does anyone have any questions? Stock should I buy? <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say for stocks, uh, really or where where mutual it makes, funds. Sure. With mutual funds, it all depends on what your risk tolerance is. So you have to go through the you have to go through a questionnaire to see if you can actually handle it's more importantly, can you handle the downswing? If it went down 20, 30, 40 percent, would that keep you up at night? If it does, then that's probably not the fund that you want. And for stocks. I would highly recommend, once you have about 300,000, 300, 400,000, that's when a stock portfolio makes sense. Otherwise, it'd be better to have mutual funds, just because each, uh, just because each stock, if you want something that's large cap, would actually cost quite a bit, and you don't get the diversification from a small stock fund. Yes? I've read that you should choose your financial advisor more carefully than you choose your spouse. <laughs> How do we go about choosing a good financial advisor? Well, there's several ways in which you can do that. Number one, the uh, accreditations, the experience. I would say the firms that they work at, because the firms will determine what sort of resources they can pull together to help you create that financial plan and reach your goals. Um, and last but not least, is there a personality fit? Do you like them? Do you get along with them? Do you feel that they're there for your interest? Anybody else? What's yeah. in your fund? Sorry? What, what's in your fund? What, what's your specialty? Uh, well, actually, I'm in cash right now. Okay. Uh, everything's moved into cash because I can't, uh, uh, well, I can't have any downturns right now because I'm planning to use that for a down payment, so I need the principal there. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gilbert. So how do we book an appointment with you? <laughs> yeah, my number. Where's your card? <laughs>